The bidding for Yahoo's core business has closed. Um, Yahoo's going to report earnings after the closing bell today. Um, and my assumption is the first 78 questions on the conference call are going to be about the bids because uh, the bidding is down to, I believe, just two entities. One is Verizon, which everyone expected. I don't think anyone, certainly I didn't expect the other one, which is a combination of TPG, which is a private equity firm, and YP Holdings. And YP Holdings is probably best known by its former name, which is yellowpages.com, which I didn't even know was still in existence, even in this new form. But as we were chatting about before we started taping, you peel back the, the curtain a little bit, they're, they're pretty big in the digital ad business. They are. They're bigger than Yelp. Um, they do about a billion dollars in revenue a year, about $120 million in EBITDA, so they're, do, they're doing pretty well there. And yet, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I look at this and I just think that the, Why the comedic skepticism is just ripe for the picking when you think about, for, you know, for, for anyone who looks at Yahoo and, and sort of ignores the strengths of the core business, because I do think that from a programming standpoint, what they're doing, particularly in sports and finance, are very strong. Um, we are one of their partners on the finance strength, but I think you know, I would say even apart from that, I, th- I think, I mean, that is that is when I'm doing research, that is sort of my go-to place, not just for the the news feeds and that sort of thing, but also for charts and 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 the like. Um, but there are people who look at Yahoo and think, well, gosh, that's. You know that's a, a company that really had its heyday 20 years ago. Not unlike Yellow Pages being delivered to your doorstep. Well, one of the interesting things about YP Holdings is that AT and T is a big shareholder in it, and with uh, Verizon, uh, they're not the they're not the majority shareholder. That's a, a another private equity company. I can't it's Cerebus, isn't it? Uh, I think so. Uh, they own 53, 54 percent. AT and T holds around 40 percent. So, with Verizon bidding. Uh, it's not too surprising that AT and T uh, decided not to bid on its own. It dropped out, uh, but it did uh, probably sign off on the bid uh, with part of YP Holdings uh, making its bid. Sure, I it's, think anytime AT and T can mess with Verizon and vice versa, they're going to oh yeah. do that. So they've disclosed who the two leading bidders are, but not like a winner or a price or anything like mm. that. No, that, that's really odd. Yeah, um, I, yeah, I don't. I'm trying to remember the last time something like this happened, where there was sort of a consumer-facing company that was clearly up for sale, and that at the end of like when you hit the 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 finish line, it was not. And here's who's won. It was here are the finalists. <laughs> I you know yeah. It's almost like uh, you float that information, hoping like some better price or better suitor comes along to give you exactly what you want, because these two are maybe not giving you uh, all the boxes checked that you'd like to see. It's just a weird, weird way to do this. It is, and from what I read over the weekend about how Yahoo went about this bidding process, they were pretty close to the vest with the information that they were willing to share. And that's why I think that's one of the reasons some of the larger, better known players just decided they weren't going to put in a bid. Uh, probably Google, chief among them. Uh, you could probably add Microsoft in there as well and IAC. But uh, on the flip side of that, if the, I don't know, some, one of these two companies could end up getting a bargain here. I don't know. I, I think it's yeah. going to be interesting to play out. But, I, but I'm not, I, that's why I say, the first 78 questions on the conference call yeah. are going to be not about whatever quarter <laughs> no. Yahoo just put up. They're, they're going to be about the bidding process. Absolutely.